my story, my journey started when I was nine years old um, and I grew up in a nice area, good parents, good morals, values, and, you know, a uh, bright future ahead of me. Um, did well in school, but unfortunately at, at roughly nine, nine and a half, someone threatened me with a knife, they put a knife to my throat and um, tried to get me to do something uh, which I didn't want to do. Um, lucky enough, I managed to get away and run off, uh, told my parents. Unfortunately, all that happened from that was my parents told his parents, um, and then next time I saw him, he threatened me again because his knife got confiscated off him. So not knowing the implication of that, I you know, carried on my journey of life, and when I went into school, I had an attraction to negative peers, you know, the gang lads, the people that were taking drugs, the people that were up to no good. There was certainly an attraction for me. So when I was invited to go and first of all was smoke a bit of cannabis, I was really open to it. Through my years at school, it was kind of started selling drugs in school. The older um, people, the adults, because they were adults, were sort of saying, you know, sell that, do this, do that. Um, I didn't know, I wasn't subconsciously thinking, oh, these are exploiting me. Um, I just went with it and, and what that brought was you know more attention and people started looking at me and people started knowing me for the, all the wrong reasons but for me at the time I kind of enjoyed it um, and then eventually getting expelled from school for selling drugs um, unfortunately that gave me more time on my hands I was you know nothing was in place for me to attend anything so that gave me more time with the older peers it also it sort of raised my reputation and more people knew me so that fed into the pr false pride and ego side of me um then it was it, then it was a case of taking drugs and my lifestyle was pretty much make money take drugs sell drugs make money commit crimes and then i did start carrying a knife um if i look back at the reasons why you know i'd say protection back then um I don't know if it was all about protection, if I'm honest. I think some of it was kind of safety aspects, ego, um, and culturally as well. It's something I think, you know, for me, putting my knife in my pocket in the morning to go out of the house was the same as putting my shoe trainers on and putting a certain pair of trainers on as well. That was another thing that there was a culture within that lifestyle of knives of, it's not just about any old knife. You know, there would be like an ego status thing where it's, you know, I'm carrying this kind of knife. You know, and you'd be meeting your friends that would be carrying a knife and they'd be showing their knives. And again, it's that ego stuff, mm. a clash of egos going, well, mine's this big and yours is this, just that one. Then they'd want to go out and get one that's better than yours. And so um, it very much was a, a cultural thing that get up in the morning, get changed, carry the knife and you go about your day. Um, and this went on for a, a good few years until I was lucky enough to, to walk away from that last time. If you're a young person, you're thinking carrying a knife. Um, I would certainly promote you to stop and think of your life choices and think, you know, the reasonings why. Firstly, what is the reason for this? And be honest with yourself. Be honest to people around you, trusted people, about why you've carrying a knife. Because that's then walking into what I say the solution. You know, there's always a solution in my eyes. You know, if you're saying you're carrying a knife as protection, well, let's look at why you feel you need to be protected. What is it that's happening? Why do you feel unsafe? Um, and then the right people will see you in the right way to, you know, and give you the right or help you find the right solutions and things.